today. I love the cream tea one. That's classic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to try and remember that. Um, so I'm actually, my name's Tom, and I am across the estuary from most of you because I live in Cockwood uh, by the harbour. Um, well, I can see Exmouth out my window, and I have got a kayak, so uh, I, could, uh, I could, paddle, could paddle over, but the, the tide gets a bit, uh, a bit rapid, so it's a bit dangerous. Um, I, I can also relate to you, Beryl, because I lived in Braunton for 10 years, so uh, I had to move down this way because my work is based in Exeter. But um, I lived and worked in Braunton for 10 years in various places around Braunton. So I know that part of the world very well. Um, and uh, obviously the whole of Devon is lovely, isn't it? Exmouth is fantastic, but North Devon is special in its own way as well. Yeah, um, well, I, I moved down from London with my parents when I was 16. Right. And we lived in Braunton. Yeah. And it was... Um, 11 years ago that I moved into Rafton. I expect it's quite busy uh, there at the minute, same as Exmouth. Well, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been down there because um, I've got to, um, I'm shielding, let's yeah. that way. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, I know that over this side it's really busy as well because all the campsites have opened so all the tourists have flooded in and places like Dawlish Warren are, are, are overrun which I guess is good for the economy and the local jobs and everything but it, it doesn't make a trip to Sainsbury's all that pleasant anymore <laughs> down the road. It, it was nice and quiet and I went there yesterday and uh, I was queuing around the block to uh, to get in but there we go um, so I work for Active Devon you might not have heard of Active Devon but we are, we are a not-for-profit organisation, so we're not a company, we're not a business. We get grants and funding from the lottery and places like that to encourage physical activity in Devon, um, including in Plymouth and Torbay. And our vision, really, our mission is just to try and um, keep everybody physically active in our wonderful uh, county and... Uh, get people that aren't so active for different reasons to uh, to try and be more active. Um, I have a, a role that particularly focuses on um, people aged 55 and over. So I hope I'm in the right group today. I'm not sure. Harry's looking a bit <laughs> useful. <laughs> and Karen. <laughs> um, I'll say no more before I put my foot in it with that one. Um, but... Um, so yeah, so we, we organised the leaflets, um, distributed them all over the county because we were aware as well that a lot of people weren't online and weren't able to do things like this today. A lot of people became isolated during the lockdown um, and weren't able to get online. Um, we normally run um, along with our, we have a lot of partners, so organisations you would have heard of, things like uh, well, the, the district councils, um, the leisure people, so LED Leisure, you'd know that, and they run the Ocean Centre in Exmouth. Uh, lots of people up in Braunton and North Devon. Um, we work with GPs and um, we work with leisure providers, councils, people like Age UK, Devon, um, the Exmoor National Park, Dartmoor National Park, all the areas of outstanding natural beauty, the National Trust. And lots and lots and lots of people who deliver activity locally. So people that lead walks, people that do yoga and all that kind of thing. Um, but all of those activities um, stopped in March, as you can expect. Um, everything ground to a halt. Um, so we've been busy trying to do things differently in the last few months. And the leaflet distribution was part of that. And talking to Harry and his colleague Aggie as well about how we could try and reach more people uh, and we found out about the highlights groups and thought it would be nice to come along and have a chat. Um, so one thing I'll, I can tell you a bit more later on about is how you might be able to find out things that are happening in your area. So we, uh, we have activities all over the county for when, when they can start again. And obviously we understand that <clears throat> some people can't get out and won't be able to get out for a while. So there are, there are other ways you can stay active at home and 
Beryl, sounds like you're doing the best you can uh, in the circumstances, especially with the gardening and everything. That's that's really good, as long as you're careful, I think. Um, so I'll stop talking for a minute, um, and I'll let Caroline introduce herself, um, and then we'll take it from there. How is it? Hi, so I'm Caroline, I'll come Hi. in and I'll zoom in a little bit. Nice to meet you ladies. I feel like a great gate crashed your party. What a lovely group. Um, I'm in Exeter. Um, I'm a group fitness instructor, exercise to music teacher. I teach Pilates and chair based and seated exercise classes. So I'm here today to deliver you um, a little um, sort of a little a little mini workout if you're up for it, or for those that are up for it, or if you're not up for it, you can sit and laugh at the ones and or sit and laugh and um, and just watch. Um, but yeah, so that that's what I'm about. Tom's asked me to come in and you know just be part of the the group to um, help keep you all physically active. Lovely. <laughs> Still is up for it. <laughs> Eating scones and cream, Stella. Yes. So I think I ought to be up for it after that. Yeah. Well, Caroline, you were saying to me before about um, I know Sue, you're you're um, in a wheelchair, and Beryl, you just said as well. So uh, I know Caroline, you were saying to me that you know some of the activities just do what you're comfortable with. If you want to join in, basically. Um, you can do the bits that you want to do. You don't have to join in all of it. You can miss out the sections. Um, you know, if you have like a shoulder problem, like Beryl was saying, you know, if, if your arms won't come this high, they'll only go this high, then that's absolutely fine. It's all about doing it your way. Um, definitely stopping at any time you feel as if you feel pain or if you feel, um, you know, if, if you think something's not right, it's just to sort of get you moving and keep you active and for you to enjoy it and feel it's something that's going to give you benefit um, to help you move more freely and release some achy joints maybe. Right. Well they're all speechless okay. now look. <laughs> Harry's, raring to, Harry's raring to go. Yeah. He's like, look he's like a greyhound out the trap. Go on get going for it. You're all looking a bit worried. I've had to do this once already with another group, so it's second time for me. Well, I've relocated <laughs> back to my conservatory and it's pretty hot in here, so um, I'll open up the door before we start. I think you need I... a tropical plant in there, Caroline. I do, don't I? At, at the back, yeah. like a big, big cheese plant or something. If you notice, I've opened up the patio doors. I've taken down the blind. Can you see out, out, out the back? Mm. So um, I'll open up the other door and get some a mm. bit more fresh air in here. Shall we have um, a little go then? Yeah, if, if, are you are you ready to go now? Yeah, go yeah. on, let's get it done. <laughs> yeah. Get it over with, yeah. <laughs> have you got a chair? Yeah, we've only got one, got we only have one chair, we have to share it. No, I'm, yeah. we're fine. We can, I can do it. So here. like a dining room chair would help. I'll show you my chair. Oh, I've got a chair like this. Room chair out. So a, a chair without arms is helpful, so you d you don't oh. hit your funny bones when you when you're waving your arms. Oh, chair. Um, you could sit on the side of a bed. You could sit in the middle of the sofa. Um, yeah, as long as something's not really too low. That's it. So relocate now if you want to. Take your little iPad with you if you want to move. I'm on the move. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. We like we like having little video tours of people's houses as well. So while you sort of walk around the house, give, <laughs> give us a little tour. <clears throat> My dog might get come in and um, pay a visit as well. I will like that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to play some music, so I'm just multitasking. Have you got any questions? Has anybody got any questions? How, Is far, there anything how, to, how, how far are we going to have to extend our arms out to the side? Yeah, so you want sort of space to be able to raise your arms. You want space to be able to, if I move back here, to kick out your legs. Oh, right. Lying. Okay. I'm going to play some music, so we'll check that you can hear me properly. And 
and this it's not got vocals so it's just sort of a background beat so sort of give me a thumbs up when you can you can hear some music the sound quality is amazing on zoom but hopefully you can hear just a little rhythm <laughs> I can hear yeah. That. Disco. Yeah, yeah. Natalie's bopping away already. Look, <laughs> bop away. Yeah, that's it. Loving it, Tom. Bit of disco. Um, can we mute you? Is that all right? You might get a better sound quality if everybody's muted. I think Harry can do that. I'm gonna do that. Well done, that's it. Start moving. I'm going to move back. So what we're going to do first of all is just check. Oh, go Natalie. <laughs> I'm going to move back so you can see me and see my feet. So we'll just check um, that you can hear me once I move away. Okay, can you see my feet? Yeah. And you can hear me okay? Perfect. Okay, so sit up nice and tall. Just relax your shoulders. You don't want to feel your little slouch. So nice and tall. So you feel open through your chest and a nice chest and a nice long neck. Just put your hands on your thighs and begin to lift your heels up and down. So we've got a warm-up first of all. Just some basic moves. I go sideways and then you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So it's just your heels lifting. Okay, are we okay so far? I can't see your feet, so I can just see your faces. I'm presuming that you're joining in. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, tap your toes from side to side. Tap and tap. So tap lightly. You want to feel your tummy muscles working just to sit you up nice and Okay, so you're going to do one each side, then a double, two this side. Yep, switch. Just single, and then a double, two this side. Yep, do it again. Single, single, and a double, two this way. Are we coordinated? Are you good? Okay, lift your heels. Heels up, heels down. Oh, I'm saying I've got a dodgy internet connection. Sorry if I freeze. <laughs> yeah, you just froze for a bit there, but it's okay now. Yeah. Okay, so I will just put my head in the room and get my son to turn his Wi-Fi off, and then we'll be all right. Now kick out your legs, so straighten out your legs. So I'm 
just straightening my leg from my knee. That's it, two, two more. Okay, lift your arms to the side. Yeah, and two kicks. Point each way. Lift your arms to the side. Sit. And two kicks. Do it again. Arms up. Keep sitting upright. Two kicks. One more time. Arms up. And two kicks. Okay, watch my arms. Come with me. Arms up. Arms out. In. And back down. Do it again. Arms up. Arms out. Back in. And down. So really feel as if you're opening up through your chest. You don't want to feel your shoulders hunch though. One more. Okay, we're going to go back to your legs. Walk out. 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 In. In. Now you can sit back in your chair a little bit if your thighs are feeling like they're working a bit too hard. Sit back in your chair. Yep. Use your tummy muscles to feel stable through your body. One more time. Okay, pause. Now we're going to switch sides. Move this leg first. So out, out, in, in. Good. Imagine you've got a cup of water balanced on your head, so try not to wobble around. Perfect. Do two more. Okay, back to your arm. So both arms up, both arms out, in and down. Walk at your feet out. Yep. Do this again. Back to your arms. Arms up. Open your chest. In and down. Now walk out this way. And again. We're good. Back to your arms. Take them up. Open. Close. Oh, feel like you're stretching out. Walk your feet. Do that again. Okay, arms up. Open through your chest. Walk your feet. Go this way. And again. Oh, brilliant. Back to your lateral raise, the side raise. Up and down. Two kicks. Lateral raise, arms up to the side. And two kicks. Arms up this way. Are you remembering what we're doing? <laughs> Walk out. Walk out and in again. Good. Arms up. Open. Walk out this way. Oh, we'll do it one more time. Lateral raise. Arms up. Arms down. Kick out your legs. Arms up. Arms down. Kick out your legs. Oh, these arms. Open. Close. Good. Walk your feet out. Do it twice. Back to these arms. Up. Open. Close. Walk out this side. Ooh, okay. Can you march? Okay. So you're marching, lifting up your knees. Marching with your arms too. Now, you can march slowly. Or 
you can march quickly. You can make bigger arm movements. Yeah? So do it your way. Whatever you feel you can do. You want to feel that you're getting warmer, your heart rate's going up, and you might be taking a little deeper breath. You're looking good. Excellent. You feel like you're going for a run. <laughs> Perfect. So four, three, two, and relax. So if you want to relax, you can rest back in your chair. Yeah. If you ask for a little bit more, arms by your side. So now we've got some mobility for your spine. This is great for your posture, great to release tension through the joints in your spine to help you move more freely. We're going to do that four more times. If you feel a bit unstable on your chair, take your feet a bit wider. Okay, so this hand, push across, switch, and again, if you want to go more slowly, you want to feel as if you're going through the biggest range of movement you can. So feel as if you're releasing tension up between your shoulder blades. Keep sitting tall and turn your head yeah, to look at your fingertips. That's good. Okay, arms back by your side, bend. your chest. One more. Now twist. Oh, take your time to go through full stretch. It's feeling good. Ooh, and march. If you might have been walking a bit more than normal in the last few weeks, so they might need a good stretch. Switch sides, straighten out the other leg, and again, tip forward until you feel that hamstring stretch. So put your hands on the back of your chair. your chest, try to squeeze your elbows in. That's it, 
you've got to stretch across the front of your upper body. And relax. And go, yeah! <laughs> Give yourselves a little clap. Thanks, How did you feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fine. How does everyone feel? How was that? It's good. We'll find out tomorrow morning when you get out of bed. <laughs> well, you can't get out of bed. Uh, I'm a bit warmer. Anyone else a bit warmer? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I actually, I actually do a, um, a thing that's on YouTube which is called Walk at Home with Leslie Sansom. It's American. Yeah. That, that's really good. And you do lots of, it's standing up, but you do lots yeah. of marching in place and you can do one mile, two miles or three miles. On which spot. ones do you do? I do the three miles. I do that five days a week. Oh, That's well easy. done. And I do yoga as well, one, one day as well. So, so yeah. that like the equivalent of three miles, but on the spot? Yeah. But it's okay. like the same number of steps kind of thing. Yeah, but you do, it's, what you do is there's lots of, um, you do sort of, you, you walk from side to side and you do sort of some low kicks and things like that. And what it does is it uses a different range of, like a full range of muscles, not just the, so it's supposed to be like more than walking. You get more movement yeah. and you more muscles than you would if you were normally walking. So <clears throat> yes, it's quite, it's quite good actually. I quite enjoy that. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds, you know, and very sort of achievable in your own home, isn't it? In the, Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's that non-threatening. It's sort of like, because yeah. everybody in my family runs and I can't run. I hate it. But that sort of, when, when you're trying to do running, it you just think, oh, I just can't face it. But you never, you don't feel like that about just walking your own front room because the, the psychology of knowing that you can stop if you want to yeah, yeah. it means that you don't <laughs> you just yeah. Keep going. Yes. yeah so it's good it's really good is that to music natalie do they have music on or is it but what i've done is i did it for i did it for about two months at the start of lockdown because my friend was doing it and she suggested i looked at it so I, I did it for about two months and then in the last few weeks i've just been um doing my own 45 minute playlist Mm -hmm. And so because, the, you know, it can get a bit boring doing it directed by somebody else. So I just I do it myself and I just have a 45 minute playlist, which is which all of the three mile ones are about 45 minutes. Yeah, so it's about a 15 minute mile walk. When, so. when I listen, when I listen to cricket um, on f five extra. And come down in the morning and forgot I haven't ch changed the channel. I get somebody, a, a gentleman, doing exercises at um, yes. probably seven seven thirty. I don't know who he is. Yes. And then I usually <laughs> change over to channel four, four. But you know, I just think somebody's out there. It's it's called something like Ten Today or something like that. We promoted yeah. it on our website, Julia. I think. Um, yeah. I think they started it during the lockdown. We yeah. also did some a similar thing. Uh, one of our instructors did a similar thing on Radio Devon as well for a while. Um, and it helped to, a bit like the leaflets. If you have a radio, but you don't have the internet, then um, obviously you could join in that way. Did people try any of the things that were in the leaflets? Did you all get a leaflet from Harry? And yeah. Yes, thank yes. you. Thank you, yeah. Very a gl glossy little booklet, isn't it? I mean, was it useful? Did you try anything? I thought they were really good and I thought they were quite, this is going to sound awful, simply explained. And I'm talking about for me now, you know. Um, so, it, do you know what I mean? For some, I don't, the only thing I've ever really do is walk. And since I haven't got a doggy to walk with anymore, it's put, it's put me off and it shouldn't, yeah. but it does because, yeah. you know. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I think it was really well done. Walking is probably the best exercise there is really yeah. all, all round if you can get out and walk but obviously that's been harder for people I was chatting to the other group I think when the lockdown started if you weren't shielding then it was kind of quite clear what you could do because they encouraged everyone to get out once a day if you could didn't they and 
yeah. everyone did that. But a lot of people have said that since it's started to ease, it's got a bit more confusing about what you can and can't do. And obviously, it's a lot busier everywhere as well. So it's Yeah, well, we go like, down to the beach sort of every, well, every day near enough or every other day. And each time I say, right, I'm going to get out and I'm going to walk because my husband can't walk. So I'm, I'm saying, right, I'll get out and I'll walk. And then, you know, if I get down the end and I'm really tired, you can come and pick me up. But, you know, if not, I'll sort of walk backwards and forward. But it's so busy. Yeah. And I don't want to walk with a mask on because I, I want to breathe in the fresh air. I don't really want to, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a bit, it is a bit difficult, but I need to do it because I've got very lazy without having to go out once or twice a day to walk the dog anymore. So that's made me really... You know, it's made me really lazy. And would, Stella, have you ever thought about joining a, a group that walks locally? No, I don't want to do. No, I don't want to do anything with other people because I'm I am a misery. Because no, I'm antisocial. <laughs> I think you need to you need to share your stories. <laughs> yeah. With more no, people. I'm, I'm not unsociable, but I just you know I like to make a fool of myself on my own. That's so, fine. Yeah. You, you know, so I'm I, anything like that. What are you going to say to me, Mark? Well, I can't hear you, Marg. Marg, I can't hear you, love. Oh, oh I want to hear her. Marg, you're muted. No, she's not muted. Just Is she just... not? No, she's not muted. It's just... Don't no. just... talk over Sue's shoulder. <laughs> she's in the other room. I know she is, but I just said, come in next door and have... Still can't hear you, Poppet. Mark, come in here. <laughs> I didn't realise you two were in the same house. They're twins. Yeah. <laughs> They're twins. Yeah, Mark, Mark looks oh, after spot, Sue. I spotted that Sue early on, but I thought, no, can. it can't yes. be. Yeah. Mark, oh, Mark looks, yeah, Sue always says Mark's her mother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll open you down. Oh, she's on her I'm knees. Uh, time. Hello. You're back again. I love walking every morning about half past five, six o'clock for two miles. Then I go with, if Sue's up to it, we go, Sue's in a power chair. So we go along the seafront and sometimes we'll walk one end to the other and back. And then I go out most evenings for about two miles. So well, that's, I, that's I, nice. I average about... Yeah, so I average about six miles, five, six miles a day. That's a lot. That's I enjoy really, really it, though. Yeah. And I enjoy yeah. it on my own. It's so yeah. peaceful. Right, I'm an I except for when I'm Sue, yeah. but I'm antisocial. But first thing in the morning, I like to be on my own. So. Yeah, I can't be uh, doing with people in the morning. It's a nice time of day to be out, though, isn't it? It's, it's nice, that time in the morning, yeah. It's lovely to go out. And we live, we're blessed to live in a lovely area. Yeah. They live right, I mean, Sue and Mark live right sort of, you know, a spitting distance of the sea. So it's, it's nice, isn't it, Mark, to be able to sort of get out. Mm -hmm. And you go around the little backwaters, don't you? You don't stick to the main roads sometimes. Oh, no, I go in all the avenues and yeah. all that, like, you know, down the lanes and things like that. So, uh, you know, we're only, what, 10 minutes walk to the beach, so it's not far. Lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and what about everybody else? Have, have, uh, has what you've been doing changed since the lockdown? Some of you were, were shielding, one or two of you. So I guess you've had to just be at home. Yeah, I yeah, no, I, I suppose you've got a routine anyhow until after breakfast for most of us, you know, whether we're on lockdown or not. Because I do my exercise as soon as I get out of bed or I couldn't get down the stairs. But, um, yeah. I do about 20 minutes before breakfast. Um, um, but I, I, I've lived in um, third world where you had to get your own exercise, so to speak. Um, I did aerobics in some places, played tennis at half past six in the morning, uh, you know, all sorts of things. I did aqua aerobics in, in um, Solomon Islands, which made us sweat. I mean, it's not like the things that you do swimming pools here. It was really hard work. It was something came over from Australia, and then we used to do it there. Um, and yeah, 
I just do something. But at the moment, I mean, my back's paying up, so I can I can walk into town. I can't carry much home before my back's aching. Um, yet, um, I can't. I'm not going to be able to change that. I couldn't do what Marg does, which is you know, sort of walk five or six miles. I'd be on my knees. I'd have to have you know those knee pads that the um, the skateboards have <laughs> to get around. But yeah. But otherwise, yeah. I, I, I'd like to do yoga twice a week because it, it makes me so, you know, agile. And it's about my cup of tea. Yeah. It's but a, I only do it real, once a week. It's a real balance, isn't it, with uh, with kind of ailments and injuries and conditions yeah. and so on. I mean, I've, got, I've had two bad knee injuries and I've got a slightly bad shoulder. But it's a balance between letting... If, not letting that stop you do things because sometimes a bit of exercise is actually really good pain relief and yeah. can help build the muscle to make those joints better again. But it depends on your, uh, your health condition or your injury as to what you can and can't do, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I think yeah. you've just got to do things within your own, you know what you can do, don't you? And it's, you know, I mean, I, I've noticed the difference between not doing an actual beach walk as opposed to on the top of the bit. At Exmouth, it's lovely and flat, so you can walk along there, it's lovely. But if you walk on sand, I'm telling you, that core yeah. crikey, it yeah, really is, you know, it's hard going. Right. But yeah. I always used to walk with a dog, well, up until he, a little bit before he died, but um, I used to always walk on a sand, oh, I mean, it used to do my, me in, but I could really tell that I'd put effort in so it was, I've got rheumatoid arthritis and I've got it in both, both knees and both wrists. So it, you know, I used to sort of do it. Well, just used to do it. And if it hurt, then I'd stop for a little bit and then carry on. Um, and, and my consultant said, that's fine. You know, just do it until, you know, you know, you know your body, don't you? People that have got things wrong with them. We, um, yeah, we, we walk I with walk them. around the... Go on, Sue. I walk with two crutches. I walk with two crutches around the house and yeah. I try to get out in the garden. We've got a long garden and I try to walk up, say half of it and then sit down and walk back down. And that's a little bit of exercise I can get, but I can't walk when I'm out, just walk into the car, get into the car. But yeah. I sit down and try and do things, but I don't sit down for too long. I put the um, alarm on, but if I'm in the house on my own for 20 minutes and then I get up and move. That's really good. Than That's 20 really minutes. good. Or try not to. That's very disciplined. It's his discipline, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I try. Yeah. It's the That's only way to do it. Practice said. Every time there's an advert on the television, which is about every 20 minutes, get up and do something. You know, move around the room, pick something up. Yes, it's what you're doing, Sue. Yeah. That's a very good idea. Just thinking good. about the arthritis, Stella, as well, and it's different for everybody, but we work with a lady who has uh, arthritis and also um, fibromyalgia. And she she actually ended up addicted to opioids, the painkillers, because they gave her so many to, um, you know, for pain relief. Yeah. And she's been, uh, and, and she ended up um, very overweight and, and very sedentary and in a lot of pain um, until um, she, she went into hospital for something and the, um, the consultant said, oh, if you walk up and down the ward, that will help with the pain relief. And she started to do that. And that was about six years ago. And since then, she's lost, it's a number of stone. I think she's lost six or seven stone. And she came completely off all of the painkillers. And she now walks four or five miles a day. Uh, and it, it to that's the only way she, she manages her, her arthritis and her fibromyalgia. Yeah. Um, and it's quite a, an inspiring story and you know it's different for everybody but there's quite a lot of power in this sort of endorphins and the feeling you can get from going for a walk isn't there yeah i think i mean i must admit from my point of view walking is my chosen you know when i but it's i got very lazy at the start of lockdown because honestly i didn't think it was going to last this long i don't think anybody <laughs> did so right. you know i thought oh this is great i got you know i'll, I'll make the use of this oh I'm, i don't think i'll do it i'll do it tomorrow and i got really I, you know it was like a little treat um but then as i say you know i'm not going to keep on about it but when when i hadn't got to get up and go out and you know take the dog out or do anything like that 
I know it's, it's, I sort of lost my reason to have to do it. It's, I didn't really lose me, me will to live, but you know what I mean? I lost the reason, you know, he was the reason that you had to move yourself and do stuff. And I am much, I mean, that was at Easter that we lost him. And since then, really, I've been ever so lazy. So I really have got to get my, you know, my big old fat girl pants on and get going. Please, please don't apologise, uh, you know, about the dog. I mean, I'm soft as hell. I love pet dogs and cats and any animal at all. So I totally understand that. And uh, my dad, actually, he's, he's 81. He's in a similar He's without um, without a dog now for a couple of years, but um, I've managed to persuade him to get another one soon, but hopefully one that's not too lively. But, you know, yeah, it, 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 that's at his, right for his kind of pace, you know. Yeah, I want a 10-year-old with arthritis. I mean, I think... Dog <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I need, I need one. I'll have to, we'll have to go... They ought to do it like... They have those dating apps. They ought to have one for dogs and people. <laughs> There's someone at my door, a, Harry, so you might have to yeah. just... Do you know I'm about a, that... I want, um, old, I want an old one that's grateful. So. Do you know about that one? The cinnam Do you know the cinnamon <laughs> crust? Have you heard of the yes, cinnamon? Yes, I've heard of them, yeah. yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty they are good. They used to help my next-door neighbour when she was around with yeah. her dog. They used to take that because she couldn't walk it anymore. She got poorly. And this sort of, uh, yeah, you can find pets through through that as well, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I must, I mean, we're, we're sort of thinking, well, I'm thinking about it, David isn't, but I'm sort of thinking about it. But I just, at the moment, I just, you know, I feel it was a little bit disloyal to Alfie at the minute still, bless him. Um, <coughs> but yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll sort something out. But I definitely need, even if it's just a, a 10 minute walk, to start well, with, I, you know. I was just thinking, Stella, I wonder, um, I don't know if we've got time to do it now, really, but um, how would people feel about if we set ourselves like a goal each? Um, if you said, like, I'll go for three walks this week or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's good, because that'll make me do it. That's a really good idea. So, oh, yeah. Harry, every now and again, love, you just sort of, take my breath away. <laughs> 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 that's a spark of breeze. So now, yeah. my, my goal for you, Stella. Uh, oh, oh you know, blimey, you know, I didn't know you were going to, oh, hang on, here we go. <laughs> I know, that's why I was joking, I'm joking. It's to come back three stone lighter by next week. <laughs> <laughs> Stella, we, Stella we, can't, um, we can't have a dog because we're both out of work all day, although during lockdown I could have had one because I've been at home for 19 weeks. But we got a cat instead. And I've just had a parcel arrive. This is a so solar-powered water fountain because I'm putting a fountain in the garden for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I get it. I have to, they say about everything we're all ordering online and there was something on Facebook and it said the Amazon man knocked at the door today he didn't have a parcel and he was just checking we were all right because every day he has to deliver an Amazon parcel and he hadn't so he thought that everyone had died so um, <laughs> I've got to go and wash my hands now Stella that happened to Jan was that Jan that had put that on no she, it happened to her and Ruth oh, Jan right. and her adopted daughter working from home and the Amazon man did knock on the door to see if they were all right because they the, they've had parcels every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you uh, what I think you're going in all this. I've got some real weird friends and they're fabulous and it's really good. You know, when you make a friend, don't ever make a friend that's sort of like normal. Yeah. It's, it really is so boring. Uh, you need friends that are, that are going to keep going. That's what's been keeping me going in in lockdown. Yeah, true. And they're all nuts. Go, go on, Harry. Harry sorry, you... go on. What are you going to tell me to do by next week? Go on. Oh, you do what you like, Stella. Uh, I don't know. What's a, what's a good idea? <laughs> Three walks? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can't say. No, I'll, I'll walk every time I go down to the beach. I'll do a walk. Yeah. yeah. Just... That's that about sounds... four or five times a week. That sounds... And even if it's just, you know, whatever you want to say a walk is, if it's just... A minute or two, that sounds great. It? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be longer than that, but yes, I promise I will do one and I'll tell you next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I recognize Thank you. I'll, I'll so I, I should say one, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, I, you I'll should. Say, what should I do? Any Everest? Other, <laughs> I will. My house, my housemate does exercise um, every, and he does proper, like hour long, goes to the park and does like, you know, a full set of 
different things, pushing up some runs and stuff. And I joined him for the first time last week. Um, and it was hard, but not impossible. Um, so I, I'm going to keep it manageable. I, I will try and do that with him twice between now and now. Yeah, start well slow. Done. You can always speed it up, Harry. Yeah, I'll try and do that twice. Well I'm done. Loving, I'm loving all this goal setting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Any others? Or is we... <laughs> I think it's just you and me, Harry. It's me and you, Stella. Right, that because... sounds good to me. No, because I've had this problem, it's because I'm trying to um, do a card table and re-felt it and everything like that. And it takes a bit of things to get this, the wool out. Don't worry about it, but it's taking more to, out of this. And also the fact I was trying to get weeds out the garden. But it's an excuse because a lot of yoga is not done, you know, with leaning on your hands except downward dog but i can do that you know without any problems so i'll, I'll i'm going to try and go at, at, out to the shops or down into town at least three well twice a week and i'll definitely do a yoga an hour of yoga every week so i'll try and do that this week okay. don't hurt your back don't make your back no i won't hurt the back it's it, it's it's just after i've done 20 minutes of ex warming up exercises actually um as soon as I get out of bed, I go to the loo and then crawl back and then lie on my bed back and do 20 minutes of exercises and uh, some other turn over and do a bit more. And then my back's OK. It'd be a lot better when I get back to the chiropractor. But, yeah, you know, I've got a tilted, twisted pelvis, which she puts right most every four weeks. So I'm, but she's had coronavirus herself and she's still recovering. She had it in March. So, you know, she's feeling awful. Yeah, still. Yeah. I heard that on the radio this morning about those symptoms lingering on and on and yeah. on. Yeah. People. Well, people do that with flu as well, too. Let's be honest. If you get a really nasty bout of the ordinary flu that we accept every winter, some people feel it takes ages for them to get right, right back to normal. They may go back to work, but they're exhausted. And, yeah. So it, it's just one of, those, one of those viruses, isn't it? It's like, I mean, real flu, like where you when fall you on the floor. Sense. Sorry. It's like when you get septic, I had that really, and it took me a good 12 months to get back, or oh, at least 12 months to get back to normal. Well, you and were dreadfully uh, you know, poorly, weren't affected. you, Marg? Yes, yeah. yeah. You know, thank the Lord that, you know, I've. some people don't survive, but, you know, mm -hmm. I can't thank Exeter Hospital more. They diagnosed it straight away and treatment, so, you know... Uh, I'm lucky to be alive, so you know. Uh, but I'm I'm truly blessed that I'm w as well as I am. Yeah. But we still have to keep telling Mark. Take it easy. Yeah. We can't do without old Mark and Sue, so we have to have them. Who else did, can clean our you, toilets? <laughs> did you obviously Beryl? You're from uh, uh, Rafton, but did you guys know each other before this group or? No, well, three, oh. us, well, yeah. so three of us belong to the Salvation Army, so we meet at church and, four and other meetings. Four of us. Four of us. I don't know who you're included in that three, but I I count four. But that's all right. Yeah, like, you go where yeah. you want. Yeah. <laughs> and is there anyone? I, I can only missing? see it's three and a half because I can only see half of Mark. You can only see Mark for me. <laughs> but we got to know. We, and that's when we joined the group. We got to know Natalie and yes. um, and Harry. Yes. That was a blessing. Um, well, it was, it was like that. this week, and I've got to go out there walking. Um, I don't know who else do we usually. Oh, we. We've had oh, a no, we had that, that lady. That lady in the farm. Who, what was her name? I can't remember. Jean. Jean. Um, Jean. Jean. Was it Jean? No. Jean. 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 She's, in, Jean. she's in somewhere. You know, she's somewhere really rural, isn't she? Yeah. Yes, Alton. Yeah. How yeah. yeah. was that? Yeah. Uh, it's somewhere, it's somewhere uh, far up north, I can't remember where. Yeah, Plymouth, Plymouthy Way, isn't it? Molten, Molten. Oh. North Devon. Yeah. Yeah. It's Molten or South Molten. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Molten. I can't remember. You need to get some chaps on here, don't you, really? Well, yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> Lord no, knows, it's no, not for no, no, not no, trying. No, 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 Harry, Harry likes, likes to be the only man, don't you? <laughs> I'm getting them, I'm getting <laughs> He's got a little harem. We're his yeah, little harem. Harry, 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 Harry. Oh, <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> but 
you know, a harem has a eunuch in charge of it. <laughs> Not you, <now. laughs> Well, I think, I, I don't oh, think I've got a Sorry, Harry. <laughs> I'm sure he's been called a lot been, of things, but not that. Great. It's been lovely to have you, Tom and Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to log off now, Caroline, don't we? I want to join in every week. This has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is right. normal. Yeah, I love listening to all yes. your chit chat. It's just really lovely just to hear all your stories and chat. It's been really lovely. We really enjoy it. Harry's been absolutely fantastic. He's, nice. yeah, I good. really look forward to it. Every, so, uh, well, well, Beryl has because she's a newcomer and we can't get say. a word in edgeways. Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's interesting listening to what you're saying. <laughs> did you enjoy it? can make you smile. <laughs> Thanks for having us both. And um, maybe maybe one of us or both of us will join again in a, a few weeks just to check in with you and see how it's all going. Yeah, it's um, been nice having you, Tom. Thank you and Caroline. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you for thank the you. exercises. Thank they were good. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, if you've got any feedback, let Harry know and he'll pass it on and I can put something different together. Um, you know, I can, I can put a little um, class together of whatever you wanted. So I'm more than happy to do it again if, if you want me to. Okay, that's lovely. Thank mm. you. Yes. Thank that, you. Was, that was good what you did today. Thank yeah. you. Well um, done, Caroline. Yeah, thank no, thank you for joining in. That's all right. You don't know what we were doing except our top half. No, I, I can see you all smiling, yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Um, I will... I, I've got a, there's a chance um, my manager might join us next week for do like she does drawing, so maybe she'll join us for that, but I'm not sure... Yeah. Sure. Is that, what, is that what we're doing? Do what you get out to? I, I think so. I just need to double check with her, but I'll let everybody know. Um,